Hello and thank you for your submission. If food tastes good, it's probably bad for you. How far do you agree with this statement? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Let's see. The meal time is the best time for most of the family members. Meal time is a very general idea. We're not talking about a specific meal time. That's why we're not going to use an article. Is the best time for most family members. Again, we're not talking about specific family or specific members of the family. We're talking in general. For most family members. Some people propose that the most important standard for good food is the taste. Okay, I've used the word determiner and I'll tell you why. We usually use taste to determine if food is good or not. That's why it's a good determiner instead of standard. Okay, now Again, there is no link between these two sentences and these are one of the little reasons why students don't get a higher mark. We need to try and link them together. This sentence is talking about meal time. This sentence is talking about the taste of food to different items, to different topics. So let's link them together. Meal time is the best time for most family members which provides an excellent opportunity to um, eat delicious food. Okay, so now that I have introduced the idea of food and the taste of food, now I can start talking about how it's a determiner for the taste. This is due to the fact that the taste can make people enjoy their meals. If you make people do something, that means you're forcing them to do something. We don't want to force anybody. Can help people enjoy their meals. And fresh ingredients are essential for preparing delicious foods. Again, there is no link between these two sentences. Taste can help people enjoy and then we have ingredients that are important for the food. There is no link. So let's make, let's create a link. This is due to the fact that the taste can help people enjoy their meals. Okay. Specifically with the use of fresh ingredients which are essential for preparing delicious foods. So this is how we have linked these two parts of the sentence together. There we go. However, as healthcare professionals verb, we need a verb, many tasty foods can cause several negative consequences on general human health. We need a verb here. As health professionals advise, suggest, state, anything. But instead of writing the verb there, let's make it slightly more advanced and formal and let's make it passive as suggested by healthcare professionals, many tasty foods can cause several negative consequences. Okay. First of all, delicious and tasty food contains saturated fat and oils that lead to tremendous increase. Tremendous increase is adjective and noun, so I need to have an article. Lead to a tremendous increase in weight. Many tasty food, whenever we have many, our noun has got to be plural. Many tasty foods, and that means our verb has to change, have great amount. Again, I have an adjective, I have a noun, it's used in the single, but it's countable. So I need an article. Have a great amount of fat that deposit on different body organs. When we say deposit, that means you're saying fat is the subject of the sentence, but fat is not the subject, it is the objective. So this needs to be passive. A great amount of fat that is deposited, 
to make it passive is deposited and then we're going to say in because we're talking about inside the body in different body organs especially liver when we talk about a specific organ of the body we have to use the definite article the liver the heart the brain these facts have been added to a lot of food a lot of food meaning plural to make them meaning the food delicious in order to attract customers now this is absolutely fine to attract customers however we can write it in a bit more of an advanced way so as to tempt customers instead of in order to we can say so as to instead of attract customers tempt customers so customers will want to eat or buy that food however if, let's make this a lower case, if people continue to consume saturated fat regularly, those fats will be deposited, again we need the um, passive form, will be deposited in their body and cause dangerous diseases such as high blood pressure and diabetes. Now blood pressure is not a disease, it is a health condition. So we're going to change the vocabulary from disease to health conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes. Even though some people argue that regular exercises prevent weight increase and break down fat in the junk tasty food, we don't need both adjectives, we need just one. We can say in junk food and again we don't need an article because we're talking in general about junk food. According to research, this is the collocation that we use, according to research, the saturated fats that, again, fats here is objective, are deposited around, again, we need the, because we're talking about a specific organ of the body, are deposited around the liver, cannot remove. So the fats are not going to remove anything. They're not the subject. The fats are the objective. So this also has to be passive. Cannot be removed by daily exercises. Very good. Okay. So all of your sentence here has been the passive because you've talked about fats and fats are the objective of the sentence. It is important to think about health and control our desires to live a better life. Now this sentence is grammatically correct, absolutely, there's nothing wrong with it, but there is a way that we can write it in a bit more of an advanced uh, way and I'm going to write it for you. In the interest of having an improved quality of life, contemplating adopting healthy lifestyles are vital. Okay, so what does that mean? I have done quite a few things here. First of all, I have used a technique that we use called fronting. You might know what this means. Fronting means that usually when you have one section of the set sentence, it is important to think about. If you take this and put it at the end of the sentence, and take the end of the sentence and bring it at the beginning, so you swap them around, that is called fronting. A lot of people start by saying it is important to. In more advanced writing, you can put it is important at the end of the sentence. And that is the technique of fronting, which is very advanced academic writing. So that's one thing I've done. The next thing I've done to change your sentence to more academic is I have used certain more academic synonyms. In the interest of having an improved quality of life, so that means to live a better life, 
if you want to have a better quality of life, contemplating or thinking about adopting and using or learning about healthy lifestyles are vital. Contemplating adopting healthy lifestyles are vital. Very important to use healthy lifestyles or to learn about healthy lifestyles. So that's what we've done there. The other obvious concern is that many tasty food, we don't need of, many tasty food, again because we've used many, it is pl uh, yes, plural, so our verb is going to be single. Many tasty food contain carcinogenic materials that I think you mean are added, not loaded, that are added to the food to improve its taste. Okay, so what I've done for its, a lot of students are confused with the its with the apostrophe. At the end of your writing, I've written a little note. Its can mean it is, it can mean it has, but in your writing it means possessive of pronoun. The dog has eaten its bone. The bone belongs to the dog. Therefore, this is the possessive pronoun and it does not have the apostrophe. The same is with your sentence. Improve its taste, the taste of the food. So we do not have the apostrophe. According to a study in the Medical Health magazine, many of the flavors and spices that have been used in fast food, and again we don't need the because we're not talking about a specific type of fast food, cause gastrointestinal system to secrete. We need an E. Again, I need an article here. A huge amount. I have the noun, I have the adjective, I need an article, a huge amount of enzymes in order to digest those materials. Very good. Also, again, the liver, because we're talking about an organ, the liver would be forced to secrete many pigments. Instead of using the verb secrete again, because we've already used it before, we're going to use a synonym, release many pigments to help digestion, to help digestion of all those harmful materials. All this process can be the primary cause for cancer and other serious health problems. If people start to practice a healthy diet, they will be able to avoid a lot of health, again, issues. Remember, um, we said that blood pressure, etc. are not diseases, they are issues. Although some people might say the tasty food, we don't need the because we're talking in general. Tasty food is not the only cause of these medical problems. People who stay away from the fast food show better resistance to many of those healthy problems. Very good. Instead of saying this is why, this is what we use in conversation English. Let's make it more formal. It is for this reason that... People who eat tasty food are more susceptible to cancer. Very good. Despite the fact that f tasty food is cheaper and more readily available for most people in general, for the main reasons of, okay, so again, you've given your opinion, you've given the examples, and you've carried on with your opinion again. Now, what I've done is I've given my opinion, and then I've talked about the examples. In conclusion, I need to tell my examiner, in conclusion, although tasty food costs less and is readily available, nonetheless, in order to control weight gain and prevent health problems, the consumption of such food should be avoided. Thank you very much for your submission. If you have any questions, please contact me.